So in verse 1 it says, Abraham journeyed from thence toward the south country. So he was in a place called Mamre. And so now he's taking another journey. This is after the Lord had destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. He decided to take another journey. And he dwelt between Kadesh and Shur and sojourned in Gerah. Verse 2. And Abraham said of Sarai, his wife, She is my sister, and Abimelech, king of Gerah, sent and took Sarah. And so, when Abraham got to Gerah, he had told Sarah again, say you my sister. <laughs> Don't say you my wife. And he, that, he said that for a reason and for a purpose. And Sarah, being the good wife that she is, agrees with her husband. She don't cause any conflict or disharmony. She's in agreement with him. And that's what makes for a good relationship, agreement. The scripture said, how can two walk together except they agree? And so Sarah is an obedient wife. She's a submissive wife. And she don't have a problem with submitting to what Abraham says. The, the scripture said, Sarai called Abraham her, her Lord. And it talks about the, the, the uh, women of God, Hebrew Israelite women. Y'all need to be like Sarah. <laughs> but a lot of y'all are too proud, too proud to humble yourself, and you don't want to submit. But if you're going to serve the Lord, you're going to have to learn to submit. It's, 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 it's about honor. It's about respect. That's, that's all it is. There's nothing <laughs> out of the ordinary. Abraham honored and respect Sarah. Sarah honored and respect Abraham. And so she was in agreement with Abraham to, uh, for her to be called his sister. And when they got to Abimelech, king of Gera, he sent and took Sarah. Because Abraham knew this was going to happen. That's why they did it. <laughs> it was their plan. 